Hello my dear students, you are watching Brain Master Spoken English. In this lesson, I shall describe how you will get proficiency in spoken English. English, you know, fluent English speakers enjoy personal growth and enrichment. English is a language of the internet, entertainment and popular culture, making it a gateway to a vast amount of information and resources. Being fluent in English allows your access to a wide range of books, articles, films and music, broadening your horizon and exposing them to different perspectives and ideas. It also facilitates intercultural communication and foster, fosters understanding and appreciations of diverse culture and societies. Remember, confidence is a integral aspect of effective communication and being a fluent English speaker boosts self-assurance significantly. First, develop a reading habits in English. Reading a variety of magazines such as newspapers, magazines, uh, books, and online articles. Choose topics. First, you choose topics that interest you to keep yourself motivated. Start with easier texts and gradually challenge yourself with more complex materials. Not only enlarge vocabulary and comprehension, but also expose you to different writing styles and structures. Now, I am going through a small story. Then you can understand this story. Reading is also a good habit that you should read slowly and then loudly. Now, I am taking a book here. I am reading this story. You listen to me very carefully. A man was put in, a, in jail without any fault. When the king visited the jail, he told him that he was innocent. The king found out that this was true. He gave him a sum of money and set him free. Now, in this structure, you look at this stalker. A man was put in jail. A man was jail without any trial. You know, without any trial, it is not a jail, but it is not a jail. When the king visited the jail, the, he told him, when the king visited the jail, the king told the jail, that he was innocent. He was innocent. He was innocent. The king found out that this was true. Now, king found out. Yes, the man, whatever he is saying, it is true. He gave him a sum of money. And set him free. Now, look at this sentence. How simple, how easy that you can read it once again. Once I already have told you in Hindi that you can read it without thinking in Hindi. Now, he went straight, the man went straight to the market where some birds were kept in cages for sale. He purchased all the birds from the shopkeeper and set them free. This man went straight, chala gaya. Here is the verb to went, go, went, went straight, kaha jata hai, sidha, went straight to the market, where some birds were kept in, in cages. 
कुछ चिड़िया पिंजरों में रखी हुई थी इसलिए फॉर सेल यहां पर लिखा हुआ देखा फॉर सेल ही परचेज ऑल द बर्ड्स फ्रॉम द सबकीपर एंड सेट देम फ्री वो खरीद लेता परचेज बिकॉज वाई द सेंटेंस बिगिन टू द पास टेंस परचेज ही परचेज ऑल द बर्ड्स ही परचेज नाउ यू कैन से योर फ्रेंड परचेज कुछ खरीदा एनी वाई यू ओनली थिंक दैट आई एम नाउ रीडिंग English for fluency in spoken English. सब की पर सेट देम फ्री उस सबको आजाद कर दिया बिकॉज वाई किस लिए बिकॉज ही वॉज इन द जेल वो जेल में था इसलिए उसे यह मालूम है कि कैद का जिंदगी क्या होता है नेक्स्ट एट दिस The subkeeper was surprised. When he said, "Mujhe sab chilia de do," the subkeeper was surprised. He was taken aback. Yeah, taken aback bhi dikh sakte the. But it is the easiest way that I am going to tell you how the story describes a smallest things. Then the man said to him, "If you had had been in prison like me for no fault." No fault you would have done the same. वो जो प्रिजन से आया था उसने कहा कि ओ माई डियर शॉप कीपर यू यू आर नाउ सबका सरप्राइज वाय क्यों आप सब सरप्राइज हैं इफ यू हैड बीन इन प्रिजन अगर आप जेल में होते तो लाइक मी फॉर नो फॉल्ट मेरे तरह विदाउट एनी फॉल्ट नो फॉल्ट विदाउट एनी फॉल्ट विदाउट एनी क्राइम मैं क्राइम के बगैर जेल में था मुझे मालूम है ओल दिस बर्ड्स हैव नॉट डन एनी और हैव नॉट डन एनी क्राइम एनी फॉल्ट वो कैसा महसूस करते होंगे यू यू वुड हैव डन द सेम जिस तरह मैंने किया तुम भी ऐसे करते नाउ न्यू नाउ इट इज वेरी इजी और वेरी सिंपल दैट्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट कि एक आदमी अपने दर्द को किस तरह जाहिर किया आई होप that you already have understood all these sentences first in english i have told a lot of things how english is essential if you would like to get the proficiency in english you should read the small stories first then you will challenge tum uske baad mein challenge karoge kisko bade part ko jo bade writer hai more complex materials phir ikattha karoge it is not easy that you like to speak like this where are you going what's your aim you come here sit down no 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 you, you would be a great or a good speaker that so you have to do some hard labor on this topic okay i will again come with the listening or other sections of how to grow yourself in spoken english okay i hope that all of you now abhi aap sab samajh gaye subscribe now my channel brain master spoken is english and press the bell icon for the further further ration thanks a lot